Hi friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back for more Hip Hip Club inspiration. Joining you today for some gorgeous card making with our fabulous February kits. And today's design team assignment is not only to make cards, but to include shaker pockets with hand punched confetti. So I'm diving straight in. I've gone and got papers 19 and 24 from the scrapbook main kit. And these are from the Bloom Street collection by Pink Paisley and Paige Evans. I've got a circle cutter die. I've pre-cut up two cards. I'm going to do two large cards today. They're five and a half by seven and a half inches total, but the measurements are all coming up on the screen for you. So you don't need to worry if you'd like to recreate them. Um, and basically I've, I used a die, a circle die instead of a punch just because I wanted a bigger window. But honestly, you could do this with a smaller punch that you have. You could do it with your cut, any of your cutting machines, whatever works for you really and any shape I just went with circles because it was really easy to create with a larger circle die and I, I just want to um yeah embellish around that circular so like a wreath really yeah so simple and easy now on the back of that paper are all those lovely little colored arrows so I actually created my hand punch confetti with a heart punch using those colors on the back there so yeah isn't that clever doesn't that look lovely so really really simple nothing tricky here now i wanted to show you how to create a shaker pocket today without any fancy tools so i start with an old um, ephemera die cut package and yep split it up into two sections and i'm going to line the back of my window or pocket there with just yeah just some tape i'm just going to tape it into place with the um, packaging there and then line my window with my um, little punched out hearts so again really really easy there's nothing tricky here it's really simple then I'll grab my second layer sit it over the top and then put my die back over in place so that I can actually embellish the other side of that as well so I'm going to add some enamel dots and you'll see what I mean in a moment because the enamel dots really help to act as stoppers so that the hearts don't fall through completely to the bottom every time you pick up the card because it, while it's lovely to have a shaker card you do want to see some of that confetti there and you want to have some of that fun so you want some movement you and they will certainly still move around but it will stop that just a little so that's my trick for how I measure that up I this is probably an easier way, but that works for me. Flip it over and then glue that piece into place. So now you've got a perfect little shaker pocket and it looks really cool. So I'm going to line the back of it with some cardstock just for a bit more interest and nice color. Foam mount it onto the front of my card and then go to town with those embellishments. And I'm using the, um, again, the Bloom Street um, die cut ephemera pieces. And there's so many gorgeous florals and it's just lovely isn't it it's really really gorgeous so I'm just going to come in and add all those pretty things because <laughs> it's just so beautiful and it's a bit like a wreath really isn't it I, and I went through and looked at a few other pieces and I yeah I just I couldn't decide how I was going to embellish my card at first because there's so many gorgeous bits but I decided to go yeah around the left side and sort of like a crescent moon shape instead so very pretty. I grabbed out these um, puffy phrase stickers that are in the embellishment kit. A lot of them are phrases that are perfect for cards. This one says, feel better soon. And I think my other one says, sending hugs or something. So yeah, really nice, bright, fun, happy, really gorgeous cards. Look at that. Really lovely. It's something that when you open your mail, this really will make you feel better. So just going to finish this one off with a couple more hearts because it is a feel better soon card. And it is for a friend of mine to feel much better about some tough times they're going through. So I want them to, yeah, have that bright and happy and know that not everything is dark right now. So I think that should cheer them up, hopefully, just a little when they open their mail. And yeah, look, that's the first card. And as I said, I'm going to make two, but I'm going to use the exact same technique as I did here to make my second card. So I'll probably speed it up a little bit just so you're not watching for too long. But I think that's really lovely. You know, it's it's simple and it's beautiful. You don't need any fancy tools. And I know a lot of you do worry about those sorts of things that you need or the latest tools. But I think, you know, we have enough on hand and there's so much in our kits that we we're spoiled for products, so we don't need to um, overdo it. Now, I do add in the Pink Fresh Studio Enchanted Blooms paper 
for this one instead and I've got a fancier scalloped stitched die it is a pink fresh studio one it's just one that I happen to have on hand because I really love pink fresh studio but um you know any any cutter would work you know you could use any sort of punch you could do a heart punch or anything really but um yeah just the same technique again I'm going to put all the pieces on oh look at that I, I do add in a few different pieces this time so there wasn't as many punched hearts left over so I used some of the gold puffy fray sticker ones and then I did pop some sequins in as well just for a little bit more bling and then I tossed around with maybe using yeah a different piece at the bottom but in the end I stick to the fray stickers because they just worked really well sending you hugs isn't that lovely what a beautiful sentiment so I'll pop that cardstock in behind and then I'll embellish again with all those gorgeous ephemera pieces so yeah it looked beautiful foam mounting it on it goes and then on with those embellishments it's simple it's really really beautiful and it's these are definitely cards that you can recreate I don't I don't make tricky cards because you know what I'm just so time poor I don't have time to spend hours and hours doing these amazing um, incredible cards I see on card making sites but I do love beautiful cards and I think beautiful doesn't need to take hours you could just be selective with your pieces and that's what's wonderful about the hip kits because we're so spoiled everything's you know it's so carefully curated and put together that everything coordinates everything works you don't really need to think about it and yeah look just another reason to uh, get your subscription so you don't miss out on your monthly kits because they're absolutely divine and I don't know yeah I don't know if there's anything more I could say about how much I love my hip kits so look there's my second card two beautiful shaker pockets I think they look amazing adding just a few last little stickers for embellishing and look there you go absolutely beautiful I hope you've had lots of fun watching me create these cards today if you've got questions or comments please don't hesitate to pop them down below stick around for all the gorgeous close-ups coming for you now thanks for liking subscribing and all those things and have yourself a wonderful happy arty days Bye.